everybody. Today I'm in interviewing, introducing, I'm happy to introduce Umber. She's here from uh, Pakistan. And so Umber, I would love to ask you a little bit, tell me about the dating culture in Pakistan and what it's like for you out there. Oh, okay. So the dating culture in Pakistan is a bit like different from other, you know, Western culture because Pakistan is basically an Islamic state and we have a lot of cultures here. We have diverse cultures and we have subcultures here. So dating is very different in all the cultures, especially when uh, you are from like a, you know, back a ground uh, of a conservative family. Then, of course, dating is quite tough because then, you know, there comes a lot of a lot of like protectionism uh, from your parents and you know they're conservative they just want their uh, children to just you know uh, get to know people or families which they're also interested in like you know the arranged marriages which are like brokered by our parents elders so like uh, we also have like cultures where people here in, sit, living in urban areas a bit modern they have liberal thinking uh, they prefer uh, dating as in like you know uh they let their children you know find the partners for themselves then they don't have to go through the process of finding somebody you know for the children like so um so you know like it's different for like uh, areas in urban areas people are more educated they have like you know uh they're they know more about the modern culture and they're open towards dating because they just let their children decide, you know, the partners for themselves, like without getting into the trouble of, you know, finding arranged marriages for their children, right? But like dating in general in Pakistan is like not something we would take it as serious because sometimes it just gets like casual dating. Like I said, like you just can't tell your mother like you're going on a date tonight. She's just probably gonna like hit you with a like, you know, <laughs> throw a shoe at your head and she's like oh my god <laughs> come back <laughs> so you know it's different for like you know it depends on areas to areas and mm -hmm. depends literally on the people thinking so uh it's just it for like uh you know this uh generation growing up they are more intrigued into you know exploring relationships they want to know you know what's out there and you know it's different but like you know now when we talk about with this with our parents they they're open towards it but of course when it comes to dating uh we're not allowed we have to be you know under certain boundaries because living in islamic state we have to uh you know take things side by side your religion and your practices your culture so you know we try to make it you know we try our families to you know get to know each other before like we take it ahead you know get more serious so mm -hmm. uh well we do like you know this generation does try to adapt western dating style but you know practically it's just not possible because when you're coming from um you know a different uh islamic republic state with your culture you know so you have to present that as well so i feel like um it's just the dating concept is a little bit like molding towards western style but again you know it depends on areas to areas but uh, like now parents are a bit more aware of what their children want and their happiness. So they are inclined towards listening to, uh, you know, their children uh, preferences, what they, who they like. And if, you know, they so introduce. Instead of just having arranged marriages, now it's a little bit more give and take for some generations and for some areas. Yeah. Right? yeah definitely for all of them. So what you're saying, what I'm hearing you say is that there are still some areas where like arranged marriages still the norm right and yeah. people aren't really necessarily having much of a decision or aren't able to date yeah i mean yeah. like we do trust our parents choices in the end because of course like it's not that they're going to introduce us to someone and the next day we're going to get married it's like they give us like a whole fledge of time to get to know them you know and just to understand like you know the person is settled he's nice go talk to him you know they just push us you know they give us confidence you know go talk to him like sometimes i cannot find somebody for myself so i just leave it to my parents like do you have anyone i can talk to <laughs> right which is interesting because i think in the like in my culture like i don't know of anybody whose parents are like hey i really think you should go date x y and z Night might be helpful sometimes, you know, instead of doing all the online dating apps. Yeah, <laughs> like we do. Like right now, we do have online dating apps. We have Tinder. We have another one like Buzz 
I don't know. I'm not on a uh, thing. I'm not on the dating website, but like I do know some of them. But we do have them. It's like people are running it. They have profiles. The other day, I saw my friend's uh, profile on Tinder, and I just went for a profile, and I was looking like, hmm, interesting. And then she was telling me how she uses it, and I was like, oh, this is nice. And I saw a lot of people using Tinder, you know, mm -hmm. uploading their profiles, you know, and then you know suddenly it matches you with somebody. It's interesting. But at the yeah. same time, it's scary because you're like talking to strangers. <laughs> right. So it's interesting because I know in some areas they consider Tinder like a hookup app. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming it doesn't have the same energy there or does it sometimes? So, um, well, we have like two different uh, websites. One is for like the wedding and one is for like the casual dating. For the casual dating, oh. we use Tinder, of course. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's cool. just, you know, um, it's just becoming common practice here in Pakistan as well. But of course, it's just not appreciated by elders because, you know, then it just restricts. Uh, we're not allowed to have like the sexual meetups when we're dating because dating has to be serious because when we are getting married to somebody like in, in our culture, it's just not two people getting married. It's just like, you know, families getting, you know, getting to know each other. They're also collaborating, right? Mm -hmm. So we also need to understand each other's culture and, you know, language. That's really important. So does it ever happen like Romeo and Juliet where like two people really like each other and the families are like totally not cool with each other? Like, do you see any of that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so like, you know, it does happen. I'm not going to say it doesn't. There are like a lot of times when uh, like we do in Pakistan, we do have subcultures, we do have religion, sex. So it's just gets a little bit difficult because everybody has like different ideologies, practices. So, you know, that comes like, you know, in it just contradicts. Right. So that's why sometimes there is a situation of Romeo and Juliet where you know families are like no they don't know our language oh they don't understand our culture but they don't realize that we are human beings and we're living under the same sky we're of the same religion we come from the same background you know I just feel like even the older generation like our parents or like parents they should also educate themselves you know like in the modern world this doesn't like count yeah 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 how many generations, like how, like, has it been a recent change that some of this more casual dating has come about? Or is it just a little bit like it was more hidden before and now it's more open and more available? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so it, it was hidden and now it's just, you know, becoming more available. I, because back, you know, at those times people used to keep it private, you know, they would like, you know, meet at the spots where it's like no public, you know, so that, you know, nobody like catches you. Hey, I know you, what you doing here? You know, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, so right. now like before it was hidden, now it's just coming in like, you know, it's just, people are getting like, you know, even their parents are like, okay, now dating is getting casual. People, children, they know what to do. They know how to like, you know, parents just set some boundaries. Even mm -hmm. like my parents, they're like you know set some boundaries and then they let us know you know okay now you can go out find somebody for yourself but you know these are the certain limitations right so yeah. now it's just you know people are understanding now they're getting more open towards it but unless it's serious <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. so yeah. is there like an age where like you tend to like want quote unquote want to be married because like I remember my grandma so when I was like 25 or something my grandma was talking to my sister who was 21 at the time and she was like Kathy, you better hurry up and get married. You don't want to end up an old maid like your sister. And I was like, old maid? I'm like 25. Like, come on. Like, you know, but like her generation expected, like you should be married by your early twenties because otherwise you're, you know, that's it. Yeah. Like you have to support you. You have no one. So is there kind of a cultural um, norm on that there? Yeah. Or not I think okay. our culture, like my culture is similar when it comes to this, because like our parents, they just think of the same thing, like get married in your 20s, early 20s. So by the late 20s, you're settled, you know, like they have this conventional thinking, right? They just bring it, bringing it like in this, uh, you know, century as well. But, you know, uh, it's just different now because things are evolved, you know, people are evolving, there's change coming up, right? So like now thinking is becoming a little different. The lifestyle is you know, changing. So like not everybody thinks the same way, but then when it comes to our parents, 
they do this like i get i get told like that like you know you supposed <laughs> to get married you know you don't want to end up like that person you know that's kind of demotivating but you just got to i was going to ask you another question but you're going on oh no sure I was, sure i was just going to ask what it's like for you to be single kind of with this not expectation but kind of with this understanding of like you should quote unquote should find somebody and then that's like forever like how yeah. is it for you so like being single is you know it feels different you know like i get to wake up like easily in the morning without having you know this tension i got to fix a fight so right now i'm just enjoying you know it's been wonderful i could just you know focus on myself my work I, you know saying yes to the opportunities i have my way without you know worrying like somebody's gonna like hold me back you know i have to hold back for somebody you know even when i'm making my choices my education choices or my job choices like i'm independent right so this right. freedom is something else like i would suggest to all the girls to be single as long as you can <laughs> <laughs> i love it i so love the freedom, it the freedom is just priceless <laughs> to say for all the single people out there that just you know believe in yourself trust the process they shouldn't like be in hurry oh my god i'm 25 i don't have a partner right now it's okay i mean it's a process trust it and like you know just focus on yourself like when you will then of course eventually things will attract to you you know like how i am i'm 24 focusing on myself single happy independent freedom <laughs> <laughs> yes i mean it's amazing and plus you know there's no harm like you know pressure or peer pressure or family pressure of me you know finding somebody eventually when i will when it's going to be the right time you know you never know <laughs> right right lovely yeah yeah this is great. all right i'm very well be well and we'll see y'all next time be right know that you're loved you're loving and you are loving yes definitely thank you so much for having me you're welcome dear bye-bye bye-bye